But let's talk about this, the distribution number. So it peaked. Um, when is this? In 1974. Um, that was the peak of this. And That's the Titanic when, cover? Um, well, it's I like, don't know. It's like the feet sticking out of the... Uh, I think that's like the high water mark. Yeah, that well, th this is just the year. It's not like a single issue numbers. Okay. So this is in 1974. There were 2,000 issues sold. So that would be, I think that's, you know. Um, uh, you mean 2 million issues sold. What did I say? 2,000. Oh, yeah. No, that's later. That's how many who were <laughs> sold this year. <laughs> yeah. 2.1 million sold. And then as you can see, like immediately, well, not immediately. Oh yeah. I mean, the next year it drops to like 1.9. They lose like 200,000 subscribers and it just like tanks after 1974. I mean, that, you say tank, but that is a long, like that's a long period of time from like 74 to 94 or whatever. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. 74 to 85. 84, 85. It, uh, 10 years. That's pretty bad, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have so, to project this against other magazines. So I think. Yeah. Um, well, and, you know, it's like, yeah, what else was happening culturally during this time um, that maybe would bring people's attention away from that? I'm trying to like. You're saying it's Reagan. This. You think it's Reagan that did it? <gasps> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> No, well, wait. When Nixon, or is that Nixon. is that that? When did Nixon get helicoptered out of there? I don't know, man. But you know, I love the, my boy Nixon, so I'm not going to. You put said it you're on a him. patriot. <laughs> yeah, he. I. I mean, he's on, the most. He's the most progressive president of the last like. <laughs> yeah, like Listen. seventy years or something. <laughs> he started that. the EPA. He opened up trade with China. Like, yeah, I, Nixon. I feel bad for Nixon. Like, I genuinely. Mean, he's still, He's still bad, but, you know, like some of his policies potentially were like they were in a world where nowadays that's not in the realm of possibilities. Like, you know, that a Republican could sort of like push these sort of things as part of like a conservative agenda. Like yeah. now you can't do that as part of like a liberal agenda even, you know, like. Well, what and what did he do? He broke he sent some people to break into a hotel to. I don't know, spy on political opponents. At that point, that's like quaint at this point. Yeah, but he was, he had kind of crusty old Dean vibes, you know? So like I know, but even that, like you know, now, he was begging for like like, you know, some some, you know, like reckless college guys to like screw him over. <laughs> yeah. But imagine if he were now, if he was like Yo, if the president does it, it ain't illegal. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's awesome, man. Anyway. Well, but and part of that's because he kind of established like what you can get away with, right? Like, yeah. And that he could have got away with that if he had a different like sort of house. Um, what do you call it? House par House Congress. Is that those are the two outside house of president? representatives and the Senate make up Senate, Congress. Senate, Senate. Yeah. 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 Um, OK, so check this out. 2001. It I would I'll say this. Gen if there's like a slight downward trend, but it plateaus. We have 200,000 issues sold up to 2019, where it's 150,000 issues sold. Slight downward trend, generally a plateau, I would say. I think that would be... When did, they, when did they switch? Well, when did they switch? When was the reboot? Oh, I had that out. Not even and the I, reboot. Like, when was the... Um, when did they switch to the direct market? Because like that cut sales like instantly, like okay, it's like putting in a smoking ban or something. July fifth, two thousand nineteen is in gen July generally is when you were getting a lot of these stories. Mad Magazine is effectively shutting down. So, um, when you get these numbers, um, you're like so we got. Uh, at the end of 2022, we got the 2022 numbers, right? Uh, because this is this issue is February. So all of the issues for the previous year have been sold. Um, this counts for next year, the 2023. Um, Wait, so, what do you mean? So this accounts for sales in 2021? Is that what you're saying? 
or 2022. Okay. They wouldn't have the numbers for all of 2022 unless it was like a weird. No, yes, they do. This, this okay. is issue. This is the first issue of 2023. Oh, okay. All right. And so this, this, they have sold, they have the numbers. They're publishing this because they have all of the numbers for 2020, Okay. Yeah. Um, and how, so what if, year did they go to the direct market? Well, that's what this is, right? The, this man magazine is effectively shutting down. This is when they made that decision to, um, switch to reprint only. Yeah. Okay. And that's, I'm almost certain that's when it went to, like, you can only get them in comic shops and you can only get them through subscription. So it's possible that those lower numbers represent a higher profit. Well, if you think about that, so this is the numbers for 2019. Those news stories were coming out while people were still getting those new issues, right? So yeah. like in theory, a lot of subscriptions, well, subscriptions kind of start and stop whenever they were established. But the next year, when they switched to comics only and subscription only, that's when you lost. Um, that's where that, that drop 70, is. 70,000 subscriptions is when they took it. And this is, this is something that we've, I think we've talked about to a certain extent, which is being on the, you know, at the checkout lane, how many are actually being sold? How many kids are actually picking those up? How many people are like a mom or a dad or a granddad? Well, in a comic store, everyone that's there is sold already. Like, yeah, to the comic store. Like it's not like whereas if it was in a on a newsstand, everyone that's there could go back. You know, they could they could put out like a million issues and sell zero. You know, correct. And those don't count towards the sales. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So anyone like if you know so. That's like another thing. If you are not familiar, you'll, you would get old comics. Like if you go to a, um, like a garage sale, sometimes you'll find tons of comics without a cover and it's yeah. because grocery stores, they tear off. You'll find it with books too. When I was in the military, they'd send these books to us to read. They rip off the cover. They send the covers in. Um, they get a refund a and they're cheap, cheap on the, on the troops there. I thought you guys love the troops over in America. You send <laughs> do, them, you send them yeah. secondhand books that aren't fit for resale. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, you know, a lot of Louis L'Amour novels and stuff. Um, but anyway, so they rip off the cover and they send it back and then the, the grocer gets the, a refund for that. And then they just buy the next issue. So those torn covers those don't count towards the sales yeah and they do that because it's cheaper to send back the covers as proof of of proof of not selling than like uh than shipping the whole thing right like yeah um and sometimes what they and different magazines do different things so like porno magazines because I, I i've worked in a in multiple porno stores and also on, at a new on a newsstand yeah and but uh the porno magazines, most of those get sent back because then they bundle them up and they resell them as like these bundles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. send them to the troops. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's lonely over there on a boat. Yeah, yeah, but the um, so if we look at this, what I I think what this shows so, is that those one people probably did. There's probably a good loss of subscriptions, like people just saying, "Well, fuck, I don't." All of this reprint stuff, I don't want it. I can't, I could probably actually dig through each individual issue and figure out the subscription numbers. Yeah. Um, but maybe that would be a fun thing to do. Anyway, um, the other thing is, I do think like a big chunk of this is not having it on the newsstand. Oh, for sure. Well, before you take this down, I will, it looks like there's a, like there's a slight, like a slight upward trend starting in about 2015, you know? Yeah. Uh, yes. So we do have uh, in 2015, it's um, 120,000, 130,000, uh, 139,000, 150, 150. So yeah. And that's about like... the time that I was starting to be published in Mad. So I think obviously had they really like invested more in me as a, as a intellectual property, they could have, you know, we could be seeing those 1974 numbers again today. I you know? don't think that you can ignore that fact. 
I know it's it's you know the the, the thing is that like uh like uh causation necessarily means correlation and so like there's no other explanation that I could yeah. see or that I'd want to see hold on um, entertain people da, 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 da. how's everybody doing over there in uh, internet land you got lots of uh uh i don't what do you have on the internet you have lots of nfts um i don't know i wasn't prepared for this you know had he what? told me i had to enter uh, thank god <laughs> were you just <laughs> like willfully not entertaining people i i was not <laughs> expecting you to leave you know like <laughs> all right well i just wanted to grab this um oh yeah bad, the, the the first issue of the reboot which came out june that was 2018 um okay so in 2018 it was like it went from i get. i mean all right the reboot you have 2017 139 thousand then it jumps to 150 for the reboot. Slow growth after that. And then removing from the newsstand, huge drop off. And right yeah. now, copies sold. This is unbelievable. 27,000 copies of Mad Magazine sold. So how's that compare to like any issue of like, uh, of you know, like uh, Colossus or like the Mandrel or Sheena, Queen's Jungle. Where's some other superhero comics? Um, uh, Bat Boy. Um, oh, oh, you're talking about just a comic book? Yeah. Or yeah. those numbers compared to like the average. There uh, used to swamp be good thing. websites that you could find all of that information on. Um, not anymore. Uh, okay, so, so what's you, a successful number? Like a like a, uh, a book that does a successful number of books. Like where is that in the range like, of? Uh, I think a hundred thousand is like a big okay. deal. Okay, so it's probably doing like about average. I think it's probably doing worse. I would assume on the shelves it does worse than the average comic book because they're appealing to a different market who maybe are not picking up Mad. Either they don't read Mad or. Like Mad's a totally different shape than, you know, like yeah. a comic book. So, yeah, I I don't. I think I think the newsstand is um, more important than maybe I would have even predicted. It's more prestigious. And, that's for fucking sure. Like, um, yeah, being on a newsstand is a big deal. Like being in a comic book store is kind of like a dirty little secret <laughs> well and the only like people tend to go into comic book shops i think knowing what they're looking for whereas like a yeah. newsstand somebody's walking around the airport or you know at the grocery store and just grabs it it's like a, a slightly more impulsive thing um yeah they must have a certain amount of readership that's just like they're traveling around Thanksgiving and they need something and they're like, you know, they're 65 plus and they see mad and they're like, Oh, I'll see what's going on in the new mad. Yeah. You know, and I'll post my thoughts on Facebook about it. Yeah. 